minus seven minutes. Huh? Make sure you eat one before the workout. You like these? No. No? Everything. After sports rehab, we're gonna go back, we're gonna go to the gym and you guys will do individuals. So I don't know if you wanna bring a snack for after sports rehab or we'll get here about about ten or so. Ten. What time is your advisory? 1020. Make sure y'all bring a, a mask. Well, guys start trickling in on uh, like Thursday, Friday. So today is our first like official day of like school and like the whole thing. So, all right, T. Let's go. New prep school in the grind session that will soon be a household name. One of the best West Coast teams. We can win the grind session. We can win it all. I'm Skyler Wilson and I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. My name is Jalen Weaver and I'm from Royal Colorado. My name is Dre Sean Doyle and I'm from Little Rock, Arkansas. My name is Osiris Sellers and I'm from the Bay Area. My name is Jaru Harvey. I'm from Sacramento, California. My name is Jalen Thompson. I'm from Oakland, California. That was perfect. Let's go. Three, one, two, three. My name is Julius V and welcome to the Academy. Our basketball program is new. The school, the academic piece is not new. Um, the school's been around, but our actual basketball academy is new. I've always had the vision, I've always believed in kind of like how the European academies are built as far as like really just maximizing your time and using your time efficiently to be the best student athlete you can be. So your schedule to me should be a lot different than your peers being in a school with 3,000 kids having the same schedule and you got 3,000 kids with 3,000 different dreams. For us, our kids' dreams are to be the best student they can be academically and be the best athlete they can be. We set the platform for them to do that and be able to maximize um, their development, you know, and, and then obviously on the basketball side, maximize their exposure. For all its beauty, California was not immune to COVID-19. It shut down the economy, schools, and sports statewide. In the midst of the pandemic, Southern California Academy went ahead with its plan and launched its varsity program. And what to many would seem as an obstacle to field a team during a state lockdown. Players across the country who were shut out from their high school seasons saw the new prep school as an opportunity. Yeah, so in California, everything's shut down. We don't know for CIF or anything. It's iffy about if there's going to be a high school season and stuff. So like coming to a prep school, you're going to be able to play everything. Coming to SCA was a no-brainer pretty much for like Hoopers. Honestly, at first, I didn't really think myself going to like prep school and being away from home. But with COVID, the opportunity that it presented, for me to get to the next level, college, and even like having a shot at being a pro. Yeah, after COVID, um, I felt like my recruitment slowed down a little bit. You know, being in Sacramento, there just wasn't enough opportunity. And so I came down here and meeting Julius, he opened up many doors for me. And um, I believe it's gonna make me um, a better basketball player as a whole. One, two, three jumps. One, two, three. Chill for a sec. Go ahead. Feel free whenever you're ready. Good. Feel your momentum at the bottom right there. One more jump. Good. And three back right here. This is the first day for these guys. We pretty much have a set in stone schedule. A Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we start our day at 7 a.m. with a strength and conditioning type work. Injury prevention and different things like that for their body.
we pretty much have a partnership with Dr. Pat, who's at Sports Rehab LA. Sports Rehab LA is the spot where majority of the professional athletes, top college guys, top high school guys come. Um, especially during the summer, you'll see a lot of the pro athletes come. So we have uh, three kids from NorCal, three kids from Colorado. We have a kid from Arkansas and a kid from Texas. They all made a sacrifice to come here. Nobody on this roster is from LA, so that should tell you a lot about their character and their commitment to them maximizing their development and exposure. That was pretty nerve-wracking nerve at first, but it was pretty cool because like we all just like clicked very fast. Like we all got along pretty well, so it just made that process way better. Uh, I just felt like this was like a great opportunity for me to get better and prepare for like the next level, like the college level. So I just want to come in and just be ready. Right, right away, I have immediate impact just as a freshman. So I just feel like coming here would be the best move. The opportunity for competition and exposure is a result of the academy joining the prestigious Grind Session League, the nation's best high school competition. Today is Southern California Academy's first practice. And only three weeks before their first game, there is much work to be done. You don't get to run this one. You get to watch. You don't get to get better. Garbage, man. You quit on two plays. We're not doing that. Sprint it out. Push. So our first practice really just set the tone for the year, man. You know, when I recruited these guys, originally I, I told all of them from the kids to their parents, like, this isn't for everybody. Go, count them out. Count! Push! JT, push! So coming into practice, you know, it's different when I'm telling you this over the phone or when we meet in person and then tell you actually get to the actual practice. Um, you know, some of the guys, majority of the guys weren't used to this, right? Stop. 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 Don't make it confusing. If you curl, curl. If you pop, pop. Roll to the basket. Run it the other way, run it the other way. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Weak side, high and wide. So before the first practice, I was here about like two days. So I had to work out with Coach Julius. It was, it was rough. Gym super hot, super intense workout. So first practice, everybody's there. It's like two times worse. The practice was like serious, like it was a real deal. First practice, it was it was long. <laughs> uh, I was wasn't expecting the uh, intensity level to be that high. Uh, something I never experienced. Something I had to get used to. It's just simple. Screen, boom. He drives. I pop. Curl now. Curl. Run it through. Hurry up. Tough. Very, very hard. It was nothing I've ever experienced before. Being around a group of everybody on one team is all Division One basketball players, that's something that I personally haven't experienced. So when I was just thrown into that environment, it's, it's really tough. You just gotta adapt very quickly and on the fly. Oh, it was way different from back in Colorado. It was way more physical, like intense. I just gotta be like locked in like the whole practice, like you can't slack off. Hit him, hit him, hit him, score it. I feel like it's more like a college type practice, like D1 type practice, so, so it was way different. Set off ball screens. Yeah, we're playing. Go. Be strong with the ball. Shot. Good hit. Good job. Hot gym, tired, but I was excited. It was it was a good tired, it was a good, it was a good experience, it was good hard work.
I was very impressed with our team and just the guys we had. And I knew that if we all uh, bought in to Coach Julius, how special we could be. He got to box out first. Unless we got some secret magic I don't know about on how to rebound. Active hands, we want to we want to try to be the best team at, as far as getting deflections on kickouts. Good job, Jay Tom. That's why we'll be the best team. Good job. Hurry up. <laughs>